Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. I got some Carnival Cruise news, I got some Royal Caribbean news, I got some Hawaii news, I got some China news, I got news from everywhere. Let's start off with Carnival Cruise Lines. They are expanding part of their drink packages, well, at least in one bar on their ships. The Alchemy Bar, a very, very popular bar on all of Carnival ships. Well, you're gonna be able to get alcohol-free drinks. Now, you could get them before. They're called mocktails, right? You can get some cocktails without alcohol. Well, they're expanding it to include some of the most popular drinks on the ship. So, you know, you, you can get a virgin pina colada, you can get a virgin this and a virgin that. There are gonna be a lot more choices for those people who are just looking to have the flavor uh, without the alcohol, have something a little more fancy than a soda pop <laughs> on the cruise ships or a bottle of water. And they say this is going into the Alchemy Bar starting immediately. They're going to start expanding that menu. And uh, Alchemy Bar is on almost every Carnival ship. So yeah, for those people who don't have a drink package and are just looking to have some of the fun if you will, of a Caribbean holiday uh, with, you know, some fancy drinks, umbrella drinks and all that, you're going to be able to get that with non-alcoholic choices. I think that's a pretty good move. They already have a lot of types of alcoholic drinks, so why not expand the non-alcoholic ones, even if it's only in one bar? We also have China is reopening their borders, uh, especially for cruise ships. Now, what I mean by that is you no longer need to obtain a visa if you're a cruise ship visiting places like Shanghai, which really makes things a lot easier on the cruise lines trying to open up and go to various destinations now in Asia as, you know, Japan just opened, South Korea just opened, Taiwan just opened, and China is now opening up their borders to the cruise industry as well. We already have Princess down there. We have a Holland America ship down there. We have a bunch of ships heading to Asia for some Asian cruises, and I'm expecting 2023 to build on that and in 2024 to be kind of back to 2019 numbers um, as things uh, progress. But that makes things a lot easier. Now, keep in mind, this is not cruise ships leaving from Shanghai. From what I can tell, it's cruise ships visiting Shanghai. Now, when I went to China, I had to get a visa, but I was staying in China for a few days. There is talk that they will open up visa-free for people going into Shanghai to take a cruise ship uh, out of Shanghai if you are staying there overnight, getting on a cruise ship, sailing somewhere else and coming back and then leaving that day. If that's your plan, they are looking at opening up visas for that. I'll let you know if that, if that happens, but as of right now, it seems like it's only cruise ships visiting Shanghai. And if you remember my trip with Tony to Japan and China, we had a great time. Even though we were out running a typhoon when we left Shanghai, the cruise ship was beautiful, the people were beautiful, both both in Japan and China, no matter what your politics are, people are people. And most people don't give a darn about politics. They just want to live their lives, right? Uh, I, I honestly say, can you stand here and say, oh, I hate those people because, you know, they live in that country. Usually it's you hate the governments of those countries and the people are just people. And so if you're ever thinking about visiting China and you're just worried about it, I visited there when Canada was at a heightened uh, awareness because there was a fight between Canada and China with Canada arresting a, uh, a representative from China here and holding them for the United States. And China responded by holding two Canadian um managers and detaining them on basically false charges. I went to China 
right when that happened. And I'm a nobody, nothing happened. So unless you're a CEO of a company, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Next we have Hawaii. Hawaii is going to become more expensive. That's right. Hawaii is now looking at adding a green fee. <coughs> Taxes. <coughs> it's, a, it's a tax. <coughs> sorry, sorry, something something stuck in my throat there. I think it was taxes it was stuck in my throat, but <laughs> they're thinking on introducing a $50 per person green fee. Now, they do say this is not to try and limit the amount of people coming to Hawaii or anything like that. They're saying it's to finance protecting the areas that people are visiting, the volcanoes, the beaches, the towns, the, you know, places like that. It needs maintenance. And the more and more people come and visit, the more it needs to be protected and, and you know, money will help to do that. Money will help to keep the beaches clean. Money will help to keep the volcanoes areas fresh and not polluting everywhere and stuff all over the place. And also security in those areas as well. So as long as the money goes for that, I don't have a real big problem with it myself. Calling it a green fee is one thing. Why not just call it, you know, a tourism fee? And, and cause that's what it is. It's for all tourists going in, whether you're coming in by cruise ship or whether you're coming in by air, it's gonna cost you $50 more per person. And it's expected to raise between four and $500 million a year based on the average amount of people that arrive in Hawaii for holidays. That's a lot of money, that's a lot of money, and it can do a lot of good as long as the government uses it for what they say they're gonna use it for. Next, we have a fight brewing between one port and one cruise line. But before I get there, let me, let me, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you wanna keep up to date with everything going on in cruising, from the new places that are opening like China and what the requirements are, to hey, your vacation is gonna become more expensive or uh, what's going on in Alaska with Ketchikan? Are you, are you gonna be able to get it to, you know, places? How about Skagway? Is the, is the dock gonna be open? Lots of things to find out about your cruise and maybe some tips and tricks to make it a little bit more simple and make your cruise just a little bit better and maybe even cheaper. Well, I hope you'll join us. Just, just hit it, doesn't cost anything. Really do appreciate it and I, I just, Thank you to everyone who has already subscribed and those about to do so. Okay, Royal Caribbean is planning Royal Caribbean Beach Club in an area in Nassau. And there's a company there, a business, who really isn't happy about it. They are fighting it tooth and nail, calling on the government to saying that this beach club is going to ruin the environment and it's going to ruin the downtown businesses and it's going to hurt everybody. You want to know who that business is? It's the Atlantis Resort area. You know the Atlantis Resort area that the cruise ships go and visit <laughs> when they arrive? in Nassau, um, do you think maybe it's mostly their business that gets hurt more than the downtown businesses? Because if you go to Nassau, you're basically going to the beach club or to you know the aqua park area there. Royal Caribbean's not gonna have an aqua park on this area, it's just gonna be a beach. So if you want the aqua park, you're still gonna go there. If you want a beach, yeah, maybe you won't go to NAS to Atlantis, but you'll probably go to the Royal Caribbean one because it's most likely going to have everything included that you've already paid for on the ship. But the downtown core, if people want to visit downtown, they're still going to go visit downtown. And by the way, it's only Royal Caribbean group going to be allowed to go there. You're not going to be allowed to go there if you're on a carnival ship, a princess ship, a Holland America ship, a Canard ship, a Disney ship. So there's still gonna be lots of cruise ships going into Nassau that have nothing to do with uh, Royal Caribbean's beach club. So yeah, it seems more like it's self-preservation 
that they're thinking about at the Atlantis more than anything coming out saying, oh, environment, environment. Well, take a look at your complex, Atlanta, and see what kind of environmental impact it had on when you built it because it's a lot bigger than the area that Royal Caribbean's gonna be building on. It's a little thin stretch of island land uh, <laughs> compared to the big, huge complex that is Atlantis. Uh, yeah, okay, but the government already has answered back the Bohemian government and said, you know what, don't worry, this construction is gonna be vetted very severely and we will be watching environmental and making sure that they're gonna be keeping all the environmental impact rules that we put in place, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And don't forget, they're thinking this is a lot of extra income for the government there as well, because everybody who goes there is gonna be paying into Royal Caribbean who's gotta pay the Nassau government, uh, Bohemian government, more money. So yeah, this sounds like, um, uh-oh, you know, uh, we're Sears and Walmart's opening up next door. Maybe we should, they shouldn't open Walmart because of the environmental factors. <laughs> Maybe it's because they might take our business away from us. That seems to be more of what they're complaining about than any real factors involved as far as I can see. Well, let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you think they're just crying wolf? Do you think they're, uh, yeah, they're just afraid for their own dollars and business? Or do you think they have a legitimate reason? And have you ever thought about recently traveling to Asia and especially now that China's open as well? Asia's looking more and more tempting every day. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.